What's going on guys? What is going on guys? I want to have a discussion with you about starting a business and working that process during the recession. Currently, based upon economic data, the United States is not in a recession. We had two bad quarters last year. The fourth quarter, we had a surplus. So the mechanism, the process, of developing your business during the recession is just starting. I want to tell you something that I did. When was the last recession? Life is a jungle. You need savage business and finance to lead you out of the jungle today. Let's kind of start here. 2007, 8, and 9 was the beginning of the last recession. And then during that point, I was in the storage auction business and I made more money than I normally made in a recession. See, this is the thing that you guys have got to understand. What is a recession? A recession is when people pull back. So let's go ahead and say the worst uh, depression, the Great Depression. The Great Depression, we had a 25% unemployment rate. Now, saying that out loud sounds pretty bad. Saying that out loud, but saying that reveals that 75% of the people had jobs. There were 75% of the people who were buying gas. Everybody was buying groceries. See, the thing you have to understand is it really depends on what you're doing and how heavily leveraged you are. So during the greatest depression, the Great Depression, we had this high unemployment rate, but we still had 75% of the people who had jobs, who were working, who were making money. And that was the worst economic period that we've ever had in the United States. And a lot of people got rich during the last greatest economic period we've ever had. A lot of people got rich during the Great Depression. Wells Fargo became a bigger bank during the Great Depression. Many Pulp Fiction writers became millionaires selling books for a nickel. So one of the things you've got to understand is number one, you can get rich during the recession. Number two, it depends upon your business. Now, I'm about to kind of go off to the side here. Toro, Airbnb, Amazon FBA, drop shipping. These are all business models that the average person can get into very cheaply, very easily. And typically people get into these business models and things don't go well because they can get in easily, cheaply and everything else. Now, are there people out there who are doing Amazon FBA who are making money? Absolutely. Are there people who are doing Toro who are making money? Absolutely. Are there people who are doing Airbnb making money? Absolutely. Absolutely. Drop shipping. Are there people doing drop shipping making money? Absolutely. So when you go ahead and look at there's a group of people in these template businesses who are making money, yet many of the people who try to get into these template businesses are not making money. What happens? What is the difference? I'm about to explain to you the big, big difference. Number one, you're a regular person sitting at home watching a YouTube video, TikTok video, an Instagram video, and you see someone come across the screen, hey, you can make up to 20 thousand dollars per month doing this video let me explain to you what you need to do you watch the video you go ahead you get in business and you find that twenty thousand dollars is very challenging to even you you can't even make a hundred bucks yet there's someone online who is making money number one anyone who gets into amazon fba these people have money. Now, does it take a million dollars to get into Amazon FBA? Absolutely not. These people are getting into Amazon FBA for maybe twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars of disposable cash. Let me say this again, and I'm going to give you a definition of disposable cash. You'll have someone out there who 
wants to get into a business and they have a pretty good job. Let's say their job pays them $150,000 a year. This person has managed their money very well and they literally have $100,000 just sitting in savings. And this is on top of their retirement savings. They're, they're good financially. And they go ahead and they see the same video that you saw, the same video on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, but this is the thing that they do that's very different than what you did. They actually pull out a sheet of paper, they start writing down some numbers, and they start checking in with people. They go over here, they go over there, they go over there, and then they find themselves what they feel to be a good mentor, and they hire this mentor, and then they put up $50,000 to get the process started. And guess what? Literally 90 days into it, their first, at the end of the 90 days after they got their product, after they set their account up, their, their store made $10,000. Now they've invested 50,000, and as we go along and along and along, each month the store makes more and more money because they had money. Same thing with Toro, same thing with Airbnb. There's a group of people out there who are financially positioned to win. And this is one of the biggest issues that I see all over the internet. You can like, if I wanted to get into Amazon FBA and just take $50,000 and just like, go ahead and put that in Amazon. And once again, that's disposable income. Very, very important. Disposable income is money that you just literally have sitting on the side. So you have someone who has a good job, disposable income, great credit. They're going to do much better than that person who is financially desperate. This person who's sitting there, who's like, I need to make a little bit more money. I need to do something. I need to enhance my income streams. But every time a person who is in that economic situation sees a video and they try it, there's like a 99% failure rate because they don't have the money. And I'm not trying to be mean or unkind or insensitive. I am trying to elevate. I am trying to give you the probability of you being successful in these template businesses with little to no money. See, that's the thing. Once again, if you want to start a business and you want to start making money very fast, you need to start a service business. This is a car wash. This is um, something that you have to go ahead and get in. I was listening to Dave Ramsey and a guy called in. Very interesting story. He has a heating and air conditioning business. He doesn't go into the office and you know, he, he has a situation where the company does 20 million a year in gross revenue and he hired his friends and buddies and paid them six figures and he literally doesn't have to go in the office. And for setting all this up, he gets $2 million a year year, which is after taxes, still a million dollars. The whole question was, should I sell my business? And as I listened to this, I was like, what purpose do you have to sell your business? Number one, you don't go in the office every day. Number two, you've got good people in the system that's running your business. Number three, I don't think he's going to sell the business. You want to know why? Sell the business for 20 million. Guess what? Nine to 10 million of that's going to go to pay taxes. So essentially, if he just keeps doing what he does right now for the next five years, he's going to make the same money, yet he will still own the business. You know, and Dave actually, and Dave said, I don't think you're going to sell because you have nothing to pour your your essence into your time, your energy and your, your, your nothing. And th this is something of a big, big issue that I talk about quite a bit on the YouTube channel is selling your business when you have situated it, when you've got it set up where you don't have to go into the office. What point does it make for you to sell? And I'm going somewhere with this. If you go ahead and once again, it's heating and air. It's not a sexy, dynamic template business. It's not like, but it makes money. It makes money. And that's one of the things that you must look at when you start your business. Does it make money? 
whatever it is. There's a million and one businesses out there. There's a million and one things that you can do. There's a million and one things that you can set up. But the question is, at the end of the day, does your business make money? Because once again, this guy is 42 years old, has a $20 million a year business that puts $2 million into his pocket and he don't even have to go to the office. You know what they call that in the old days? They call that retirement. Dude is essentially retired from his active business because of the way it was set up. He has a lot of time to devote to his children, to his wife and his, his family. So one of the things that you have to understand is, and this is what's funny, the guy used to work for the guy who owned the company and they came up with a deal where this guy would pay this guy out the company and this guy, and essentially this guy was getting paid and he said he, he owes the guy like three more years of payments. And um, it's very, very interesting what you can put together if you put your mind down into the business of making money and what you can put together and what you can set up. Now, honestly, I think this guy got a great deal because here's the thing. This recession that's coming later this year, guess what? It's going to touch his business. But guess what? Is he going to have to start coming into the office? Nope. Not at all, because the way his business is set up, the reason his business is set up this way is because he, he designed it this way. And this guy did not go to college, didn't go to college. What does that tell you? That a person who didn't go to college, who doesn't have higher levels of upper education can literally set up a business to make $20 million a year put $2 million into their pocket and be home all day long with their wife, family, and kids. Um, once again, this whole thing with creating the business, starting the business, setting up a business is not rocket science hard. It's just not. When I got into this in 2009, it was a recession and I became a millionaire during the recession. So it's not about, you know, depending, depending upon your business, it really depends upon your business, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to set up, what you're trying to get going. It really depends a lot on that. But essentially what you can do today is go out, start a business, change your mindset, change your actions, and you can get into business making money. Now I'm getting ready March. This is February, but starting on the 1st of March, I'm going to do some new training, brand new training, training that I've never done before to help you realize the things that you can do in terms of starting your business. Now, it's going to be 100% brand new content. I will not be doing, you know, the older content. If you bought the older content, you're in it. I'm not moving that. It'll always be there. However, one of the things that you must realize, one of the things you must understand is we're going to set this whole thing up in a manner where you can be dynamic, where you can be a different person. Because the first thing we're going to do, and th this is one of the things that I literally kind of slipped. I slipped up. I made a mistake and I didn't really get into the mindset component the way that I went through the mindset component. I did not do that. I did not understand that. I did not have the framework. I did not have the understanding, even though I kind of talked about it in videos. I didn't really, really get down into the nitty gritty of the details, which I am going to do in this new training. This new training is going to be heavily, heavily influenced by YouTube, very much influenced by YouTube. And one of the things that's going to happen is we're going to be talking about how to create a YouTube channel to create money. Um, I don't have any offline businesses at the moment. Before I came to YouTube, I had formed one, two, three offline. Well, they were kind of online, but nothing to do with YouTube, nothing to do with the internet space. There was many, many things out there. So one of the things that we're going to get into is how to use the internet to make money. Now, one of the things that I need to be a hundred percent clear with, and this is where everybody's running to it. Everyone wants to become a content creator, literally sit at home, make videos, talk about a certain thing. And that's all they do. Now, if you want to be a content 
content creator. And if that's your goal, there's plenty of opportunity and possibilities. However, we're going to be talking about doing some other things a little different than that, because once you become a content creator only, it's going to be very, very hard for you to do anything else in life. It's going to be dramatically hard for you to do anything else in life because I will share with you, I never let the content creation overtake. This is why there's sometimes I'll disappear. You won't see me. I'll be doing different things. And because I have not allowed content creation to take over my life. But one of the things that you have to understand is content creation has a time limit. Seinfeld, Friends, these were shows that people loved. And one day they just stopped producing them. And that's what you got to run into with content creation, unless you want to change it up, unless you want to do something different and dynamic in terms of business and starting your process of making money on Online in the internet space and we'll be talking about a lot of different things many many different things so just stay tuned and once again this will start March 1st and it will start and also can't reach it but I'm giving away a MacBook Pro to the students of the new thing. And once again, this is gonna be 100% new. It's gonna be very different. If you were an older student, you will get a discount, but you will not get automatic access to this new thing. Just to let you know, because it's gonna be 100% new, it's gonna be 100% different, and it's going to be very, very strategic in the position and the orientation of doing these things. Just letting you know that. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit the bell notification button and stay tuned because I will be making this big announcement the 1st of March.